Hey guys, Christina Ritchie, don't laugh. <laughs> Today we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do the Plane Mate by Tor Striker and David Woods. All right, Martin Chuck and David Woods designed the Plane Mate, which is phenomenal for our golf game. You got to get one, all right? Absolutely worth it. Especially if you're one that struggles with staying on plane or keeping your structure back and through. So if you're one that has a hard time moving your body through or keeping your width in the backswing and having good solid impacts, say you come over the top, you got to get this. So I'm going to walk you through the initial steps of grooving this right here at home. So if you want one, head to misspar.com, click the link, it's going to send you back to Tour Striker to get yours. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to jump on the mat, we're going to grab some weight options, and we're going to do shoulder presses. Yeah, shoulder presses, they're so important in the golf swing. All right, and they're also important when you're getting back on that airplane when all this is over, putting your luggage up in the overhead without asking for assistance. All right, so what you're going to do, Martin has some, Martin and David have great videos on how to set this up, so I'm not going to really dive into that. I'm just going to get to the meat of it. But you basically put this on perpendicular to the club. You put it up here when you're working with a wedge. Okay, this here is the longer one that you use for your longer clubs. We don't need this at the moment. All right, you're going to position the apparatus, which is one that is Velcroed. All right, you just put it around your waist, okay? Really tight, as tight as you can, and you're gonna favor this on your trail side. Crazy tight. Now I'm tiny, so I have a little excessive slack here, nothing I can do about it. It's all right. All right, now, I'm gonna clip this on the rail, and you're good to go. All right, now, I'm just gonna show you the basic premise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get set up, and you're gonna have a little tension here all right, so you don't want it slack and you don't want it too tight. All right, you should be able to just place the club on the ground. It's going to be just right. So you can place the club down and there's some tension here. Now, here's where the magic begins. As you take the club back, and I'm going to turn this way. All right, so as we begin, we're going to take the club back. We're going to have our trail hand on top. Okay, we're going to have a little tension here in the band. All right, so this is during the takeaway. We want to create width right out of the gate. All right, where players go off is they take their hands out and around, and you can see what happens to the, the band. It gets slack. Or they get super steep, and it gets super taut. All right, so this really teaches you about how to get wide correctly. Now, with what we're going to do today, we're just going to go to here, literally just the takeaway, right, where you're have a little tension here. Now as you transition, you're going to create a little slack and the club's going to work in. All right, we call that shallowing the club versus keeping it taut and jumping on the ball. All right, so if you struggle with over the top, watch this trail elbow. When players go off, as they, the elbow goes out, or you can look at your shoulder since we're doing shoulders today. The shoulder goes inward. Instead, we want to feel like the arm works this way on the downswing. All right, like this. This gets our shoulder externally rotated and it gets us into a nice position on the downswing. All right, so you got to be able to do it small before you can go big. All right, that's why we're working on this first here at home. Super easy to do. All right, so start it set up. Maintain your structure so you get some t tension here, a little pressure to your front side, and that's going to relax the band a little as you allow the arm unit to move this way. All right, you can see what happens to the club. It moves inside, and then we swing through. All right, so now we're going to do the Z-press. All right, we're going to do it on the mat because it takes your legs 
out of the equation so it really helps you to focus on core stabilization and shoulder strength. All right, so we're going to do this safely. We're going to warm up with a light weight. All right, we're going to warm up with tides. As I mentioned the other day, these are empty, so it's a great way, well, almost empty. All right, so, and I like the handles because we want to keep our arm position like this. I don't want you going up like this. This impinges your shoulder. This is safe for our shoulder. So we're going to go straight up just like this. Keep your hands close to your ears, straight up and down. All right, so we're going to warm up. Depending on how heavy the tide is, you'll do 10 to 20. All right, I'm coming a little closer here so you can really see this. So it's set up. We have a little tension here. As we take the club back, we have a little tension. Our trail hands on top. And then as we transition, move our pressure from back to front, we have a little relaxation of the band. And the, the arm unit works this way and the club works a little inside. And then you can strike it. All right, so that's the takeaway take away into transition. It's a very important follow through. I'm going to turn this way without my, my golf ball right now. All right, next up, let's go a little heavier and do bricks. I'll go ahead and hold it on the narrow side so I can keep this structure here. It's all about structure today. All right, press up. Now, not only is this gonna help your golf game, all right, to really help you get your hands high and your shoulders gonna help you support your backswing and follow through, especially as a gal, you're no longer going to ask for help when you get back on that airplane and put your carry-on up on the overhead. All right, you're going to say, I don't need help because I can do this all by myself. All right, so on the through swing, we want our body to be the engine. All right, where players go off as they get flippy and their body stops rotating. All right, the hands win the race. And then you'll see what happens to the, this band here, it just collapses and breaks down. All right, so we're losing our structure. I gotta talk to Martin about this situation here. What do I do with this? Here, I'm gonna go like this. Like that, no. Tuck it under. All right, there it is. Martin, we gotta talk about this. So we're gonna set up. Have a little structure at a dress. Take the club back, maintain that structure. Move your pressure to your front side, a little re relaxation. Focus on moving your pelvis, this area. If I do a rectangle, boom, boom, boom. This is what's driving the golf swing, okay? That's what's driving the golf swing. So you can see on my finish that I've maintained my structure. So you can see there's a Y here capital Y. There's tension here in the band. I haven't collapsed. All right, I haven't tried to flip it where the club gets way over here. All right, no. All right, because this is, this is the full swing in the making. This is what you're going to do on your short shots. A little tension at a dress. Take it back with some tension. Move your pressure to your front side. A little move to your front. Then you And then you're going to finish with structure. All right, so you can see that the club and everything is in front of my body. All right, it's not like this. All right, this is key. So you're probably asking why I'm dressed up like this. Wow, I'm a great supporter of Martin Chuck. I love his stuff. 
Not only his training aides, but him. He is a phenomenal coach and person. Great family man, awesome wife, Stacy, who plays too. They're just great, great people. So I like supporting people that are awesome. So I branded myself Tour Striker. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know about the hair. <laughs>
All right, so this is another reason why I love the plane mates. So head to misspar.com, click the link for Tour Striker, and get your plane mates pronto. And if you see that it's available, you better grab it because they're sold out like all the time. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer in a future tip. And for some reason, if I can't answer it, I know who to call. Hey, Martin, what do you do when uh, 